um, for over 12 years. Having a Kenyan head of state visit is a big deal, number one. Number two, when you're living abroad in the diaspora, people, and that's why I always encourage Kenyans to be kind to visitors and kind to, kind to strangers, kind to people who immigrate to this country because when we are living outside, uh, you are alone. You don't have the usual sort of, you know, fallbacks and support mm -hmm. of family, friends, community, church, you know, your city that you know and all that. You're in a foreign land and uh, with strange, uh, you know, cultures and strange, you know, uh, sort of happenings that you're new to. So when you are abroad, you become a united front. That's why you see a lot of the times the diaspora in any place, and especially in the United States, speaks with a common voice. So they've organized a dinner for the president and the first ladies and uh, the dignitaries that are with them. Mm. And it is a great opportunity for both the leaders to listen. You know, one of the key uh, strengths of leadership is the capacity to listen, not just to go and talk and talk and talk, uh, but to listen to them and what they are facing, the opportunities they have that would better be supported by government, the difficulties of administrative things like getting a passport and just basics, you know, voting when you're abroad and all that. Mm. But most importantly, it means a lot to the Kenyan community because when the president is abroad, uh, you'll be surprised. I, I met a lot of, you know, leaders and uh, celebrities and all that when they're abroad. The systems of protocols and normal checks and balances and oh, bureaucracies are not there. Okay. You can you can go and hug a, him and, and yes and take a <laughs> selfie and crack some jokes and yeah. talk some sheng and do all that. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, for them it's an uh, is a unique opportunity to engage one of one on one, not to just with the president but the Kenyan leadership. Mm -hmm. I noticed that the um, the U.S. ambassador to Kenya, Meg Whitman, mm -hmm. is actually there. She was actually among the receiving parties mm -hmm. of uh, U.S. dignitaries who received him. Uh, the president on that side. Yeah. She not only understands politics because she actually vied for, uh, for the US presidential uh, ticket, but she also comes from the business community. She yeah. was a CEO. So she understands those kinds of engagements. I had her give very, very, um, you know, very, very excellent endorsements of Kenya, both as a, as a geopolitical uh, strategic player, uh, also as, as an investment destination and all that. So she understands, and, and some people are even you know, saying, hey, that's good, too good to be true. What's you know? the catch? What do they have in mind, <laughs> right? So um, the, the important thing is when you have all those players there with you, you have yeah. the US ambassador there with her ear to the Kenyan diaspora in the US, especially in Atlanta. Atlanta actually is one of the strongest Kenyan communities, and mm -hmm. they used to be a tradition of Kenyans meeting in Atlanta every year and it would be the biggest bash and you know all that but Sherehe aside uh, Kenyans are also very strategic people so yeah. given this opportunity to meet not only the president but even the US leaders who have come to receive him the mayor of Atlanta and all these other people the CEOs of Coca-Cola and 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 um Delta Airlines and, and uh, GE, uh, you know, Aerospace and all these other companies. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Meeting Tyler Perry, you know, yeah. uh, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Madea, <laughs> yeah. you know, one of the billionaires who's self-made that decided I won't stick in Hollywood, but I'll go to, back to my home in Atlanta and create, uh, you know, a, a, a mega sort of movie studio where um, the black uh, culture can be expressed mm -hmm. without the biases, the traditional biases of Hollywood, where he can give opportunity to more black people to express themselves. That kind of a person with that kind of mentality and mindset and a business acumen, yeah. engaging with Kenyan leaders in the presence of diaspora, like I'm saying, this opportunity, no matter how people look at it from whatever angle, uh, there's so much that can come out of it as long as...